Solomon was providing nuggets of wisdom that I believe every single human being needs to grasp because it's going to affect some part of your life. And one thing I love about the Proverbs is that they're so real and practical. We're actually taking the time to go through this first uh, chapter of Proverbs and look at what Solomon was actually dealing with and what he was talking to us about and how it affects our lives in very specific ways. So ask God to reveal your usual response to compression. In other words, when I'm going through family and job responsibility, internal, external, external expectations, society, moral and values, family crisis, crisis events, and even demonic, ungodly spiritual activity that's coming up against me. Lord, how do I usually respond? How do I respond? What's going on inside of me? And that basically comes down to the same thing. Do I respond in anxiety? Do I get angry? Do I get depressed? Do I overwork? Do I start just sleeping? Do I just get irritable? Do I get impatient? Wow. Now you know why I said, why I started off and said, the Lord's got to understand this isn't condemnation. This is the Holy Spirit coming through with the clipboard, coming into the bathroom and into the bedroom and saying, now let me show you. This is how you, this is what caused that crack in the wall and why that toilet don't flush and why this electrical wiring is faulty in this. This is the reason why. Because when it comes to these pressures against your life, this is how you respond. Thank you, Lord. So you see, the list is the same. So ask God to show you what pressures are compressing you. Ask God to show you what pressures are compressing your relationships. Remember when I brought up the examples where a guy can say, well, the problem with us is that we don't communicate. Well, now I take that same man and say, the reason why you and your wife don't communicate is it because of uh, the responsibilities? Is it the bills? Is it the stuff that's going on on your job right now? Is it expectations that you got on yourself? You thought that by the time you was 40 that y'all be living on the West Shore and you'd be in one of those real big, big houses over there. You'd be somewhere up in the mountains living in one of those big houses. And so now you're 40 and it ain't happening. Is that what this... Is that what this really is, the reason why y'all don't communicate? That's what I'm talking about. Is it the stuff going on with your brothers and sisters? Not even with your wife and her family, but crises and stuff that you're carrying with, it'd be her in-laws. You worried about your mom. Your mom could be, your mom is sick or your dad is sick and you just internalize it. You don't really talk to her about it. And so yeah, she's mad and she's afraid. She don't know if there's another woman or what's going on because you don't ever talk. You don't ever say that this is what you're thinking and what's going on. So yeah, it causes problems in your community because his response to compression is to just get depressed and shut up and shut down. And this is a man who saved and loves God and all of that. But this is his. This is the way he responds to life until he learns. Until he learns. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding because he's used to all the way up until maybe he was 20 something years old. He always was able to figure things out figure it out on his own. But now he's in a place in his life where he can't figure it out with his own mind anymore. He doesn't make enough money to get out of it anymore. And now he's got to tr truly, truly trust God. God then let him come to the place where he's got to really trust him. And he's never really had to, I mean, y'all know what I mean, really trust God. The credit card is at the max. You can't borrow no more money. Nobody else can help. There is nothing else he can do. That's what I mean. And so for the first time, he's really there.